Welcome to the Distance Learning Kitchen where we put a little heart into everything we make. Today what I'm going to do is just show you a quick easy recipe that you can do um, using your crock pot so that you can um, just mix up a few things and have it done and let it cook while you're doing school and you'll have a nice dinner. So let's see here if I'm able to um, switch my camera while I'm doing this. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make chili. So let me show you what we're gonna put in the skillet. Right, so I have some olive oil that is in the skillet, getting hot. And what I'm gonna do is add some onion that has been chopped. And it's really important that they go in at a pretty uh, good temp there. And we just want to get these to start softening in oh, about three minutes. We want our um, temperature to be hot enough, but then not too hot. So we're going to let this cook a moment. So I have some garlic cloves here. And I need to mince them. And so I can mince them a couple different ways. I can do it with a knife or I can do it with a garlic press. And I'm going to choose the garlic press because my recipe is calling for um, my garlic to be really, really fine. And so I am squeezing this and you can see the garlic right there, right into my dish. And then inside of here is the skin, and I need to remove that, which is super fast and easy to do. And then I'm gonna put my next clove of garlic in and repeat the process. And just squish that right in. And I'm going to add my last one. There we go. And then everything left inside is the trash. You want to put that in your trash. I don't put that down my garbage disposal. I just don't think that that paper is necessarily a good thing for your garbage disposal. All right. So now our recipe says that after we are sauteing those onions for about three minutes, we can then add the garlic, and we wanna go ahead and do that. We don't add the garlic at the same time as the onions because our garlic will burn. We don't want that to happen. So we're just gonna do this to get it to be slightly aromatic. And once we finish that, we're gonna put this into a crock pot. And so at this point, I'm going to turn my heat off and I'm going to bring my onions and my garlic and put them right in here. And then the next thing that I need to do is to take my meat and brown it. So into my skillet, I'm going to do a mix of uh, ground beef and ground turkey. Now the ground beef will have more fat in it than the ground turkey, so I like to put my ground beef in first and get that going. get that um, the beef going then I add my ground turkey just to get a little bit of some oil if I don't have enough I can add a little bit of olive oil and the key right now is to just get the meat chopped up so that it can brown. We want it to be thoroughly brown. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and add my ground turkey. that brown. All right, so what I need to do in my crock pot is I have some ingredients that I need to add. So let's go over here while that's happening and let's see if we can get a pretty good shot there. All right, so what I need to add to my crock pot, if you remember, we already have our onions and garlic in there. Okay, as I need to add some diced tomatoes. And so here we go with the diced tomatoes. And diced tomatoes are chopped up into little pieces. I also want to add some uh, green chilies and you can choose your heat on these. So we're going with a medium heat. That's what my family likes, what they prefer. some tomato sauce to add. All right, we're back. My class is over, so I want to finish this up and get it cooking. So, to just continue where we left off, I browned my uh, meat and I did a combination of ground turkey and ground beef. And so I'm going to grab that and bring it over and put it in. Now, do not take that hot skillet and put it in your sink because you'll warp it. All right, at this point in time, I need to add some beef broth. And you can use vegetable broth if you don't want to do that. And there's the rest of mine. There we go. And then we're going to add our seasonings. Chili powder. Cumin. This is what gives like the taco flavor. Paprika. Here's our secret ingredient. Cocoa. So cocoa powder. And then we're gonna put a little bit of sugar to take some of that acidity from all the tomatoes. And we're gonna mix that up. And then one more ingredient after this. But I like to give my spices and nice stir and get them all in there. And then the last ingredient are our red kidney beans. One more quick stir. Make sure your crock pot or slow cooker is plugged in. And depending upon your recipe and the amount of time you have is going to decide whether you're going to let this cook on low or on high heat and make sure you put the lid on. Alrighty, when we come back you'll see the finished product. 